from the problem, we know that the work of the pump in is 8.06 kilojoules per kilogram. Q in, Q out, work turbine out. It is given that the pressure entering the turbine is 8 megapascals equals 8,000 kilopascal. And the pressure exiting the condenser is 0 0.0075 megapascal, 7.5 kilopascal. It is also given that the quality X equals to 67.45%. At state 1, we know that it's a saturated liquid, so by looking at the table at 7.5 kilopascals, we determine that the enthalpy is 168.79, and, um, and the specific volume is 0 0.001008 meters cubes per kilogram. Given the work of the pump is 8.06 kilojoules per kilogram, and this formula tells us that the enthalpy at state 2 minus the enthalpy of state 1 is equal to the specific heat at 1, which equals to Given the work pump in, we can solve the enthalpy at state 2 because we are given this and this. Which is plus the enthalpy at state 1 equals. Knowing this, state 2 to check if H2 is correct. You'll see with the formula, V1, P2 minus P1, work pump in. We are given that the pressure at state 2 is 8 megapascals, which is 8,000 kilopascals. Now, doing the calculation, we will see that 8,000, 7.5, is indeed equal to 8.06 kilojoules per kilogram. At state 3, we know that the pressure going into the turbine is 8 megapascals. Therefore, by looking at the table at 8 megapascals, and we look at the enthalpy at the vapor, and we see that it is state 4. From the formula, we are given this this, we are given all three, and we want to solve for H4. Therefore, and H4 equals, the work pump in is given at 8.06 kilojoules per kilogram. However, if it weren't given, we can solve it with with this formula, therefore, this minus this would equal that. For the Q out, we can see the formula H4 minus H1. So H4 minus H1, it gives us from the work of the turbine out formula, we can solve the work by doing this minus this, which gives us that. For Q in, we do H3 minus H2, which gives us Network is the work of the pump in plus the work of the turbine out, in which the work of the pump is in, which means in the system. Therefore, the work of the pump in is negative 8.06, and the work of the turbine out is 966.36. Therefore, the net work is negative 8.06 plus 966.36, which is equal to 958.32 kilojoules per kilogram.
To solve for the mass flow rate, we will do the net power over the net work. The net power is given as 100 megawatts. Net work is 958.32 kilojoules per kilogram. Remember, one watt is equal to one joule per second. Therefore, 958.32 is equal to 958.32 kilowatt second per kilogram, which equals to 0 0.95832 megawatt second per kilogram. Recall the formula for the mass flow rate is the net power over the total work. Therefore, 100 megawatts over 958 megawatt second per kilogram equals 104.34 kilograms per second. The formula to calculate the rate of the heat exchange for the boiler is given by mass flow rate times the heat in. We have our heat in in kilojoules per kilogram. However, we have to convert it into the proper units. Remember that one kilowatt is equal to a kilojoule per second. We're going to convert kilojoule into megawatts, dividing it by a thousand. Therefore, we have 2.58115 megawatt second per kilogram. We do the same for the condenser. However, it is the mass flow rate times the Q out. And then we get this. By converting our units, we get our heat flow in as 2.58115 megawatt second per kilogram and our heat out as negative 1.6228 megawatt second per kilogram. Solving the rate of heat exchange, we will use the formula mass flow rate times the heat in, getting 269.31 megawatts. For the heat exchange of the condenser, it is the mass flow rate times negative Q, the heat out, which is negative 169.34 megawatts. The thermal efficiency is given as the net power over the heat rate of heat exchange in boiler, which is 100 megawatts over 269.31 megawatts equals 0 0.371, 37.1%. To solve the mass flow rate of a cooling system, we will look at the table at for the saturated liquid at temperature 15 degrees Celsius and 35. Next, we solve the heat out of the cooling system, which will be negative 83.69 kilojoules per kilogram. The next step is to solve the quality, which is the Q out of the ranking cycle divided by the Q out of the cooling system. We will get 19.39. Finally, the mass flow rate of the cooling system is the quality solved above times the mass flow rate of the ranking cycle that we solved in part one. We will get 2,023.47 kilograms per second, which is 7.285 times 10 to the 6 kilogram hour.